this is the advanced upload. So you have quick, which is quick and easy, and then you have advanced. With advanced, you have the ability to do things like trim. This is where you can trim out the space at the beginning, perhaps, or at the end. There's your trimming functions in here, and you have a couple of other audio options, like the ability to fade this in, fade it out, or to uh, normalize it. Normalize simply means that we apply a filter on our side, which tries to level out the audio, the volume, so that if it's very, very quiet, we, we boost it a little bit. Now, we don't go crazy on it, but we apply a very slight filter to do our best to normalize it somewhat. And then you hit apply to this and those advanced settings are applied and you're good to go. I will show you one more thing with the advanced and it has to do with video because this is a little bit more involved. Again, we're talking about video and we're talking about advanced. Oh, uh, let's see. I'll select this one. For video, you have the option again to trim. Uh, for the video, you have also fade in and fade out. But for the video, you have this advanced option of a thumbnail. I just wanted to make sure you saw this where you can actually select a custom thumbnail. Most people will just try to find a spot in the video that, that looks nice, perhaps something like this. And once you select that, then you would use this button, use current time. You click on that and that pulls in that current time. You select something else, pulls in that. So I just wanted to make sure that you saw that. Or if you didn't want to do it that way, you can upload a custom image just like that. Custom image, browse files, and you would just happen to have one right here, JPEG. And there it is. There's my custom thumbnail image. Okay. And so that